Oh and they go, there God. it is. No, no, that's good. Okay. That's good. You want to use a heavy bottom saute pot that you buy from the Walmart.com. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Hi, how's your day going? Really good. How about you? It's going great now that I'm a Carl's Jr. Um, <laughs> can I go ahead and get two Western bacon cheeseburgers? Two Western combo meals? And then can we upgrade the fries on one of those to Chris Cut? <laughs> Sure, no I'm needy. Do you have anything else for the other side? Uh, I think that's going to go ahead and do it. Okay, it's going to be 2776 forward, please. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I love you. They never say it back. Yeah. And that's fine. Well, they break out these Western bacon. Wait, if you can just admire the fact that the grease has seeped through the bag. I know. That's good. You gotta have some greasy fast. Food. You gotta lay down a bed of napkins across your lap. Okay. One for you. I maintain that this is the best, the single best fast food hamburger in the entire game. My if expectations just, are high. It should be. Wait, wait, do we get the extra barbecue sauce? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah wait, crack open the barbecue sauce, put some extra BBQ in there. Barbecue sauce. Yeah, give me a little dump. Yeah, give me half, you take half. There it is, there it is. Is there barbecue already on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's barbecue already on okay, it, but you're so gonna want extra more. Barbecue. It's a good barbecue sauce. All right, cheers. Cheers. I'm excited for your first Western bacon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm hmm The bacon's gonna pull out in one piece, and that's mm -hmm. what you want. That's really good. The American cheese. I love the way the barbecue sauce seeps into the onion ring. It kind of like floods it. It becomes like a crispy sponge that like, explodes. Where's the onion ring? Oh, the onion rings are on the bottom. Yeah, oh, so we man. gotta make onion rings for sure to go on this. Do a little dissection. Okay, a little onion ring. You got two in there. That's the best part. Cause you get your side dish inside of it. Also, we should address the fact that no one knows who you are. <laughs> My name's Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is this is Lily Cousins. She's the newest mythical kitchen here. Lily, tell them about yourself. I'm gonna stuff my face with this burger. I studied finance, went to culinary school, and just eat a lot of food. How do you feel about it? like? Do you think this has merit to be in the culinary canon? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the bun is like really important, and the bun to mm -hmm. burger ratio. Yes. You can't have too much bun. It's a big burger, but it's a wide burger, which mm -hmm. is what I love. So I have a question. <laughs> What's up, Lily? How are we gonna make this fancy? I think you know some sort of like. Tempura thing on the onion rings. Okay. For me, I'm eating this. I love barbecue in all forms. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we might use Korean barbecue as like an inspiration. Yeah, a little Asian route. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. it. <laughs> Do some gochujang and some pork belly. Mm -hmm. It's about to get weird. Yeah, I trust I'm ready. Us. <laughs> Lily, the first fancy ingredient in this burger is you. You're coming to us directly from a Michelin starred kitchen. Is that correct? Oh, yes, that's true. Have you been impressed with the level of Mythical Kitchen's cookery thus far? You've been here for a week. I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> I will sounded say. like you didn't think you were gonna be, which I really appreciate. I no one believed dishes. in us, including her. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, okay, so right now we're gonna make, I'm calling it like a bulgogi inspired barbecue sauce okay. uh, to go on this reason. Some elements of American barbecue sauce, some elements of a Korean bulgogi marinade. Okay. Typically there would be something like apple or Asian pear inside there, right? Instead, we're using apple flavored soju. I love a replacement with alcohol. <laughs> nice. It's a great way to sub anything in there. You don't need vegetables, just drink potato vodka, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Uh, and then also Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. This is a really cool product. It's gonna bring a lot of that sweetness in there. Uh, you wanna start just dumping the, the barbecue yeah. sauce and in there. We got okay. ginger, we got garlic. You're gonna have to palm heel strike that in a second, but I'll lead you through it. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm gonna be making our kimchi. American cheese, you mentioned how much you love that. I love American cheese too. We're gonna use a chemical called sodium citrate, okay. which is an emulsifier that's gonna bind this here double Gloucester extra sharp cheddar with milk and blended kimchi to hopefully create a perfectly silken American kimchi. Okay. We'll figure it out. We got some dehydrated kimchi <laughs> here. You wanna try that? It's like kimchi jerky. It does have a little bit of a chew to it. I'd snack on this in the movies. Mm -hmm. Why don't people do this? It's good. Oh, oh, that's, wait, that's a pungent bun. Yeah, it's spicy after. It's gonna be good in the mm -hmm. cheese though, I think. What do you think the weak link of the Carl's Jr. Burger is? Like, where do you think we can improve on it? Um, Maybe the bun. We got something special for that. It had a good bun ratio, but uh, you know, it could always use a little more improvement. <laughs> is it broken? What the? Push harder. I'm trying, Lily, <laughs> God damn it, I'm trying. There it goes. Let's see if this turns into an actual powder. In your Michelin experience, have you ever done anything like this? Have you ever like used your powers to make a very incredibly fancy cheeseburger? You know, I haven't uh, dived into that yet. <laughs> oh God, don't breathe the kimchi powder. How oh, much of this should I put in? To your heart's content. How much ever, uh, however much you think should be in there is how much should be in there. Lily, you have all the tools you need to succeed. <laughs> I have no idea. We've never done this before. But like, in theory, it works, right? Like, the sugar from the alcohol is gonna cook down. It's gonna get nice and thick. I'm gonna burn that milk. All right, so we're gonna add kimchi powder to that milk. That's a fudge ton of kimchi powder, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, that's gonna work great. And then, oh, dude, look at that. That's something. Yep. Now I'm gonna add, oh, dude, that's, oh, the cabbage is hydrating oh, in the milk. Yeah. Wait, oh, Lily, go grab some more milk. Grab some <laughs> more milk. We might need it. One minute in, we've already messed up and we're panicking. Lily, welcome to Mythical Kitchen. That's right. That's what we do. 
There it is. Splash some more milk in there. Yeah, also, I accidentally ate some straight up sodium citrate earlier. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. And I don't know if you're supposed to do that. And um, we'll figure that out. Um, okay, so look, keep blending. What are you doing? Okay. Why have you stopped? I don't know. I don't know. All right, sodium citrate. <laughs> We're adding it in there. And then I'm just going to start breaking up this cheese. Wait, wait, wait can you show cheese. me to do the cheese. garlic? Eat this cheese. Eat this cheese. Yeah, yeah, wait. Give me a sec. I got to get this cheese in there. How's it? It's good. It's sharp. Mm -hmm. Sharp. You don't need but a lot we're cutting of it. the sharpness with all that dehydrated kimchi. Mm -hmm. So that's the good news. I don't know. We'll see. The kimchi flavor is lingering in my mouth. <laughs> yes. All right. That's in there. Um, if my knowledge of science is right, that's gonna perfectly emulsify. We'll just let that go. Meanwhile, that's a good sound. I need to add garlic. Yeah, you gotta palm heel strike your first garlic. Really. Mm -hmm. Normally, you'd put like a knife blade over it and hit it, right? Yep. I don't believe in that. Okay. What happens if you accidentally flip the knife up and you turn it? Hit it. So what you want to do is you want to stack the elbow right over your wrist. Okay. And then you want to sort of raise a leg like you're letting down apart. Okay. And then you're just gonna drop down. And then crush it, and then boom, easily peelable garlic. All right, they didn't teach me this in culinary school. No, 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 because now you come to the culinary school of hard knocks. Okay, I have to do the leg raise. Yeah, yeah, like you're doing a fart. There it is. Yay. Look at that. That was a natural. This is a smell that I've never smelled before in food. You want to okay. give it a hug? You know, I don't love it, but no, no, I think no. it's going to come together. I think it's kind of like, you know, um, sometimes like fish sauce can have a heavy smell. Yep. And then you eat it and it's delicious. Yep. Uh, and that's what we're going for with this. Well, fingers crossed. This is an unrefined sugar called sukanat. I mean, just really fantastic. It's got these like big granules. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be sweet, right? Okay. Barbecue sauce is meant to be sweet. It's gonna like melt in the pot, so yeah. I don't need to blend it, right? No, 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 just okay. toss it in. <laughs> All right, we'll crank that up. Oh they my going? God. There it is. No, 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 that's good. Okay. That's good. You want to use a heavy bottom saute pot that you buy from the Walmart.com. Because, you know, ooh, those would look pretty on camera, and then they don't cook things too good. It smells burnt in here. The only word I can describe the fumes right now is noxious. Um, like, if we stayed here for another 10 minutes, we would pass out. So we got to stir this for about another 10 minutes, and then this is going to come together. All right, so now let's give this cheese one more taste. Yoinky Spoinky. Do you know how to dance the Yoinky Spoinky? I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> no, it's, it's not even as it's just a stupid dance made up. I realize that sounds dirty. I think we're there. Yeah, it's good. I say hefty cheddar punch. All right, we're going to let this cool down a little bit. We're going to spread it out on a sill pat, and we're going to let that chill, and then we're going to cut it into some squares. Now what are we doing? Um, I feel good about initial? the first beat. You feel good about your first cooking beat on camera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going well. Pork belly? That's the next thing? Mm -hmm. I think so. Do it. <laughs> we gotta make the bacon. Okay. So right now we have Korobuta pork belly. This is a heritage breed pig. Gonna be like a lot of nice fat on it. This looks really good. It looks really good. Uh, and right now we simply cured it in salt, sugar, and kochukaro, which okay. is the, the Korean chili flake. And so right now it should sort of like get some of that moisture out, but we're gonna put some moisture back in with the marinade. So you got Kochujang, this is a fermented rice and chili paste. Uh, very big in Korean cuisine, it's freaking delicious. Yeah, do the Vanna White thing, that's smart, that's smart. We got some barrel aged soy sauce right here. It's soy sauce that was actually aged in whiskey barrels. That's gonna be pretty rad. We got ginger, we got garlic, we got some more of that sukha nut, uh, and then more kochugaru, and of course, apple soju. So you wanna make that marinade real quick? Yes. I'm gonna, um, man, this isn't gonna help your uh, idea that we do a bunch of janky crap here in the kitchen. We've soaked a bunch of mesquite chips right here. <laughs> If you see, you can kind of put together what's about to happen. So we're gonna try and create like a tabletop smoker here. We're gonna scatter wood chips all over this sheet pan that is on top of a $19 burner. Okay. Anything where you screw a butane tank into that could kill you, yep. you generally want it to cost more than $19. Yeah. Because it costs $19, you're like, well, where are they pinching pennies? This seems dangerous. Uh-huh, definitely, definitely. Just, you know, um, try and lean your, lean your bad side towards it in case it kind of explodes. Okay. And then you still got a good side for thumbnail pictures. That's smart, welcome to YouTube. Thanks. So we're scattering some wet wood chips around here. The idea is we are going to light the bottom of this on fire. It's gonna get direct heat contact to the wood chips. It's gonna smoke. It's gonna go like And then we're gonna put the pork belly on it with the marinade, wrap it in tin foil, insulate that smoke, pop it in the oven, roast it off, crisp it up on a Korean barbecue grill. Nice, it sounds like a plan. Sounds like it's gonna work, yeah. right? Yeah. I can't imagine what I will go so. wrong. I know. Cool. All right, so let's crank, let's, well, no, we should probably brush it on first. Okay. There, you want to start? Here, you okay, do it. Okay, I'll brush. I'm just gonna stand here. So, uh, what's your favorite part about the office? I don't know, maybe the kitchen? Who's your favorite <laughs> member of upper management? Brett and Link, of course. Right? Yeah, no, they're, that's, a good, that's a safe choice. We all just wanted to start at the top. Yep. What, what's the most surprising thing that's happened in the kitchen so far? Was uh, it the time that the first day you walked in that I had hurt my back so badly that I couldn't stand up? Yeah, you were hunchback. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it was her first day and I like, uh, Nicole had to drive me to the urgent care 
because uh, I hurt my back deadlifting at the gym, and then she bought me ice cream the first time I met Lily. I was, I think, like holding ice cream, bent over. Like the guy in 300 is like, I'll give you my shield, you know? And they don't let him join the army, and then he sabotages them. That's where I was at. It was very tragic. Yeah, I'm normally more like mobile. Yep. Yeah, as you can see. <laughs> Sometimes we just go run laps in the parking lot. Uh, you'll see, we're fast, we're very fast. We're the fastest department here. We got the Kochujang marinade all over the park, and then you see like, I mean, hit that, hit that whiff. Oh yeah. You smell it? It's gonna I start smell smelling pretty acrid in a second, uh, okay. but I think in a good way. So when we think this is adequately smoky, we're gonna pop this on the top, and then wait, we need a stabby device. Do you want the cool knife? I'll take the cool knife. There oh, you gosh. go. It's got a compass on it, so you know what which direction the? you're cooking in. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. So when this gets adequately smoky, we're gonna see it, it's gonna start to pop up. Uh, I'm gonna throw the tin foil on, try and clamp it around there without scalding myself. Okay. Then you're gonna violently stab a couple holes in it. Okay. All right, sound good? I'm ready. Perfect. All right, we're getting a lot of smoke on this. We see the pan starting to warp. I think we're gonna shut it down. I'm gonna drape it with foil, you're gonna stab it. Okay. All right, in three, wait, 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 ow, don't stab me. Don't stab me, Lily, for the love of God, don't stab me. There you go. Yeah, there it is. That was good. You wanna go more violent with it okay. typically, but. There it is, there it is, there it is. Get that anger out, Lily. Take that red no, you like red link. I do too. All right. <laughs> Pop in oven, we're gonna let that render, and then we can take it out, crisp it up on that KBBQ grill. <laughs> Lily, we gotta make our beer battered koji powder tenjang onion rings. Ooh. But before that, hey, have you ever heard a podcast? Me and Nicole have one called A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, and Lily's gonna tell you about it. Uh, Sell it good. Okay. Yeah, Lily, tell, tell them about it. Tell them about your favorite episodes that you've listened to. Um, a Hot Dog is a Sandwich is about there you go. Um, all the food Sh controversies. Shattered the beer bottle, dude. I shattered the beer bottle. I got it. Oh, that's my oh, bad. No. I was trying to. Oh, I gosh. shattered it. I, I don't Are think I'm bleeding? bleeding. No, I think we're good. That's my bad. That was that was unsafe and it's not cold. Tell me about the podcast. I didn't see the bottle opener. Okay. I didn't see it. Um. So yeah, it's about a podcast of how they talk about the biggest food debates. That's good. Yeah, that's yeah. Good. yeah. <laughs> that's good. I watched the culinary school one because I obviously went to culinary. Ah, school. Yeah. Yeah. Did yeah, it's pretty messed up? And Nicole and I were like talking crap. No, honestly, it's a good podcast to watch if you're thinking about it. Yeah, so. we don't have a visual component. It's just like a listen thing. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, like you said watch, but like there's no visual. Like we oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, you listen to, like it. listen to it. With yeah. your ears. <laughs> it's just like, we, we used to have video and some people are very mad that we don't still have video. Okay, okay, okay. But it's just like it was, drag it was dragging the channel average and it was a lot of work you for a lot more people. And then, you know, like COVID happened yep. and we were just like recording from home. So it's like, you know, what are we really going to do? Yeah, you can't watch a podcast. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good podcast ad, I think. Yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. It's I think we good. nailed that. <laughs> All right, I'm just adding beer to flour. You want to cut up those onions and yes. like semi-thick? I'm judging you on your knife skills. Okay. Might need more beer. Well, we had more beer and then I ruined it. That was my bad. All right. Let's see, and then koji. Koji is uh, koji. <laughs> koji is a mold. A good mold, there's good mold and there's bad mold. Black mold in your home is bad. And, and if you've been affected by mesothelioma, call the law offices of James Sokolov. But also, this is mold that is the same mold. It's on rice grains that they powder. And then they use that to make all sorts of things such as mirin, sake, and soy sauce. Yes. I said this was so, I said this was fermented sake leaves last time and somebody called me out. I and so that. I Googled about 30 seconds ago what it is. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this is you wanna try some? No, you can't smell anything. Try the mold. It doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes like mold. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Well, we're gonna add it in there because it's a fancy ingredient that a lot of people think is very cool, such as Rene Redzepi from Noma in that one movie about Noma. <laughs> He's the fancy chef of the world. He like ferments reindeer penises and stuff. That is very true. That is true. That's like a real dish that he had and it was just like a reindeer penis. <laughs> and when we cook reindeer penis, people are like, that's weird. When this guy cooks, he's a genius. Yeah. Double standard much? <laughs> We're gonna add a little bit of this tenjong. This is a fermented soy paste, uh, really okay. delicious. Gonna add some nice umami and then salt and pepper to the batter. I think that's it. Okay. I think this will be good without any sort of binder, right? Yeah, I think it looks good. I'm gonna rock it. Oh shoot, we need another bowl of flour. Uh, should we start dropping onions in there? Sounds good. Um, are, you, are, you, are you big on deep frying? Is that like part of your culinary repertoire? Yeah, I do like a good deep fried anything. Okay. Heck yeah, you're gonna fit right in. Uh, as if you haven't been already, you, you have. I didn't mean that as like you're yeah, it's kind going of to be not current. I'm sorry. Do you want me to buy you yogurt land? That's how we yes, generally please. apologize yeah. here. <laughs> can, can somebody else get a little yogurt land and say it was from me? <laughs> like I've done for every relative's birthday with my brother's card for the last eight years. <laughs> he just signs my name now. I don't even... <laughs> All right, heads up. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop one. Let's do a little tester. Let's see how it is. Okay, I'm right. backing up. Swiggity swooty. Look at that booty. All right, uh, it looks pretty good. Do you think it's yeah, it's thick enough on the batter? I think so. Yeah, it looks pretty. Oh, nope, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Should we try it? Yeah. Shoot. Here. Ew, it's so battery. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up. That was mine. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Right, maybe hamburger. What? I'll do that one more time. I'll do right, maybe hamburger. Huh? Right, maybe hamburger. Hamburger? Yeah. Had a hamburger? I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> We've reached the home stretch. Okay, I'm ready to try it. No one thought we could do it. And here we are, like just me and you, just like it's always been for a week. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we got the burger there. Do you want to heavily salt and pepper that up? Yes. We got fresh cracked pepper, very fancy. It's from the Smart and Final region of Burbank. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna take some Wagyu beef tallow and then we're gonna get that over. We have a Korean barbecue grill that we bought and um, it's got little things in it and it costs $129 on Amazon and it's pretty cool and we're pretty stoked on it. So just take that. Do you want me to do it? This is a kind of dangerous maneuver, but I you can just flip it. it and flap it. Okay. Confidence. It jumps right in there. There it is. <laughs> I tried. Too much confidence. Too much confidence. Wait, wait, wait. It's on the hook. It's on the hook. Wait, we got it. I think you just gotta leave it. Ah, oh. ah, ow, that hurt. So, uh, milk bread. We've yes. made a milk bread bun um, that has black sesame seeds on it, so it looks pretty red. It looks really good. Thank you. I'm <laughs> gonna barbecue sauce up this year. Well, she was, you know. Um, okay. Shh. Nicole, don't go fall over there. We're putting a little bit of Wagyu beef towel right on the bun. <laughs> it's just gonna make it nice and wet. Okay. You know, I want that. I love a wet bun. You gotta, I mean, you gotta have that little bit of seepage. You saw how the grease, what the hot burger's gonna go in there, it's gonna be good. What are you guys yucking and yawning about? It's like a lot on there. What? That's not a lot. No, dude, we'll, yeah. we'll steam it over the top. All right. I don't wanna steam it. And it'll one. melt in there. Yes, <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, don't, don't start questioning the methods now. I'm questioning it. Uh, lay down a base of barbecue sauce. I'm gonna start getting some onion rings on there. We'll flip that in a minute. Cause then the barbecue sauce is gonna bleed into the towel. What? Ye of little faith, ye of little faith. What happened when the followers of Moses had little faith? We're gonna start stacking onion rings. I'm gonna get the beauties up top. These Beautiful. Look These look really great. Yeah. Call me Jerry Stackhouse, the way I'm stacking onion rings. And you gotta kind of smush them a little bit. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. Should we flip it? Yeah, let's You wanna flip it? You um, had a lot of confidence and you nailed the first I know, one. Let's I know, do the I second one. I don't have one. confidence anymore. Yeah, yeah. There it is. That's looking solid. That's looking solid. Now what we're gonna do, we take the cheese. Yep. We're gonna gently kimchi. place that on top. Kimchi's turned out great. Yeah, it looks amazing. And then should we just start? Hold on, here, let's, yeah, yeah. Warm those up. Late Korean barbecue. Yes. We're gonna start warming these up on the outskirts. <laughs> there we go, like the corn cheese. There we go. Now nice. we just gotta wait a couple seconds for this to. This is melting pretty fast. <laughs> it's going, yep. it's going quick. Do you, what, how do you like your burger? Uh, I, I, I like a medium, medium well. I think like, are you like a mid-rare girl? I am. You're really like hard ass? On the place. Yeah, I don't you're... want a mid rare place like mid rare at McDonald's. If you trust Carl's me. Jr. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know, man. Like a nice McDonald's beef tartare. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Here, let's let's start getting some bacon on there. Okay. It's looking pretty good. You want to grab that one? It's looking pretty good. Should we? I think Feels it's done. Good. Take it. Pull yeah. it. Pull okay. it. Screw it. Am I putting it on, or are you putting it? You on? put it on. Okay. You, Lily, you have so much confidence. Can you I just pop it right on here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Put it from the back. Ow! We're it's good. Hot. We're good. Ow! It's hot. Lily, why do you let me do this? <laughs> I'm trying to get the nice side to the camera. All right, cool, cool, cool. And, uh, oh, why is there a wet paper towel? That's gross. Uh, is this all that goes on it? I think so, yeah. This is all that we made, right? Yeah, this is everything. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Amazing. Get some barbecue sauce cascading. Lily, you want to do the shot. final crown? You should see this burger in a crown. Billy Eilish, we love you. Come on the show. There it is. We have the official. <laughs> Western bacon cheeseburger made by me and Lily. That's very fancy. Let's let us eat it. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging. This is incredibly oh. embarrassing. I am so. Oh my god. I can't even. I thought you were. <laughs> I. Wow. <laughs> Lily, we did it. This looks absolutely incredible. Can't wait to dig in. But yeah. grab the original yes. Western bacon cheeseburger. Let's see how it compares. Ours got a little big. It was a little bit bigger than I was expecting, but like, I mean, it's the it same format, huge. right? Yeah. All the onion, it has all the components. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I mean, it's so good. Yeah, it's so it's good. It's so slapped. This is a good, this is the best hamburger. I'm in. We'll see. Okay. After we try this one. Got it half. Got it out of your spot. You want to smooth thing cut across the throat? Mm. Grab a half. This is, this is a nice visual. You can't really see what's going on on the inside. It's all kind of mushed together, but. This is gonna be a flavor bomb. Mm hmm Cheers. Uh-oh. Oh yeah. 
I'm tasting all of the kimchi. I'm tasting that gochujang. The yep. candied pork belly is incredible. Yeah, it's just sweet and salty. It's got everything to it. It's super juicy. Mm. <laughs> you know what really did it? This is absurd. It's the wagyu. Hold on. It's the wagyu beef towel on the bun. Yeah, I think I'm tasting that. And a little bit of grief. Mm -hmm. This keeps a lot of the integrity of the Western bacon cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Soft, squishy bun, nice charred meat, sauce soaking into the onion rings. There's that extra dimension in every single layer mm -hmm. that to me really comes through. Yeah, I agree. Really? I'm sorry for what happened here. <laughs> I have a question though. What's that? How much did this cost? I have a question, $208.35. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's an expensive burger. I mean, it's also a, it's all the wagyu, really, and then we poured a lot of liquor in it. Mm -hmm. So it kind of makes sense. The cheese was pretty expensive. Yep. And then you know the gas in my car gets crawls Junior. That's about eighteen cents. Yeah. It's <laughs> a lot. Lily, thank you so much. This is your first fancy fast food experience. <laughs> As always, sorry for being gross. I'm normally better. Um, I don't know if you are. <laughs> yeah, it's fair enough. <laughs> thank you guys so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. Uh, uh oh. Running up to the podcast every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcast. Hit up on Instagram and TikTok, at Medical Kitchen, get to the only medical issue. Hashtag, give us some food. You know next time. You're too hot to handle, and so is your bakeware. Get a Mythical Kitchen oven mitt available now at mythical.com.